Praise the living God. Hallelujah. 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 To the Lamb of God, we bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Our God is mighty. Our God is a son. And we bless his holy name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you. We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Virtual Summon in Christ Ministry. We bless the name of the Lord. Our program today, Night Virgin. May the Lord bless you for joining as you join. I believe, my God, I believe our Almighty God that always answer our children, uh, his children, their prayer. He will answer your prayer. He will answer my prayer. We bless the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless God for his goodness. Amen. Hallelujah. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, he has done marvelous thing for us. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, he's yet to do marvelous things again. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, he has done marvelous thing for us. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, is yet to do marvelous things again. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, he has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, is yet to do marvelous things again. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God. He has done so many marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God. He's yet to do marvelous things again. Father, unto you be all the glory. Unto you be all the honor, and unto you be all the glory and adoration forevermore. And unto you be all the glory, unto you be all the honor, unto you, Lord, be all the glory. An adoration forevermore. Father, unto you be all the glory. Unto you, Lord, be all the honor. Unto you be all the glory. An adoration forevermore. Father, unto you be all the glory. Unto you be all the honor, unto you be all the glory, and adoration forevermore. Leave it there, leave it there. Take your burning to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. Take your bed into the Lord and leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Take your bed into the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. Take your blessing to the Lord and leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. If take your bed into the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. Take your bed into the Lord and leave it there. Oh, leave it there, leave it there. Take your bed into the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. 
Take your bed into the Lord and live with him. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. We stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We stand upon the word of the Lord Almighty. We bless his holy name in Jesus. And we thank God for bringing us together this hour, this morning. This moment, we are give, we are grateful to him. We are going to open our mouth this hour. We are going to thank him for his goodness, for his loving us so much, compassionate God. Let us begin to thank him. Let us begin to bless him. He's worthy. He's mighty. He's excellent. Let us pray. Oh, Father. Than the Almighty God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Christians of this, and we give you all the glory of the Holy Spirit. God, God, I go to compare to you. You are the most Papa, merci pour tout ce que tu as fait dans la vie de Papa, nous te bénis pour tout le monde, parce que tu es le seul, le vrai Dieu, le Dieu de Christ, le Dieu de l'Esprit, le Dieu créateur des cieux, de la terre et de tout ce qui existe, le Dieu grand et respectable, le Dieu d'Abraham, d'Isaac et de Jacob, le premier et le dernier, le Dieu qui ouvre les fesses de nos pères, le Dieu qui change les temps et les circonstances, le Dieu qui est le Dieu qui a fait le feu, le Dieu qui guérit nos enfants. Le Dieu qui appelle à l'existence, mais ce qui n'existe pas, le Dieu. Papa qui est égal à toi, qui est comparable à toi, le Dieu. Papa qui peut faire ce que tu as fait, que tu vas continuer à faire, le Dieu. Papa, père, qui est du vent de char, qui est mon père et mon sauveur, mon libérateur, mon rédempteur, mon seul amour. The righteousness of a man is like a filthy rag to him. We are going to humble ourselves before we don't want our prayer to be an abomination to, to Almighty God. 
We don't want our prayer to be an abomination to God. We are going to humble ourselves before God and asking for his mercy to wash us, to cleanse us, to purify us in his precious Lord. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, Father, in the name of Jesus, my Father. Father, Lord, we come before your throne of mercy, oh, Father, to humble ourselves before you, God, Jesus, because of God, Father, oh Jesus, Father, Lord, Father, every daughter of the enemy, oh Lord Jesus, because of God, Father, every daughter of the enemy, oh Lord Jesus, Father, Father, Hallelujah to the name of God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. So right now we are going to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. We are going to cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ, our home, our children, our husband, our, our husband. We are going to plead the blood of Jesus Christ in the Zoom. We are going to cover, God, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ in our environment, our community, in our, in our surroundings. We are going to plead the blood on the air, on the land, or the sea, on the sea. We are going to plead the blood of Jesus Christ in the first heaven, the second heavens. We are going to plead the blood of Jesus in the heavenless. We are going to plead the blood of Jesus Christ in this program today, in the name of Jesus Christ, we like us this hour, this moment, let us begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ, soak ourselves with the blood of Jesus, let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, Father, I pray the blood of Jesus, that will cleanse me from every filthiness of the filthiness of the spirit, please, my children, filthiness of the flesh, filthiness of the spirit, Father, I pray the blood of Jesus, to cleanse my garment, to salvation, my robe of righteousness, so the Father, to purify my soul, so the Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, you know you and i we cannot do without holy spirit our greater teacher our comfort our leader we cannot do it that we are going to invite his sweet Holy Spirit, gentle sweet Holy Spirit. We are going to invite him to come and be with us. He's our teacher, he's our intercessor to help us to intercede. Because, you know, the word of the Lord said is the Holy Spirit of God is the one that searches what is in the mind. He's the one that knows what is in the mind of God. He searches what is in the mind of God. So we are going to invite you to help us to pray, to help us to pray, because he is the one that knows what Almighty God we answer, we hear for us. You know, when we bring bring our prayer to, to Father God, his Holy Spirit that helping us to, 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 to polish it, is the, uh, the one that helping us, you know, clean it very well and present it very, very good to Father God, and to Father God we answer you and I. So we are going to invite him. We are going to welcome him in our midst right now. He's worthy. He's worthy. Our sweet Holy Spirit is here. That is why he's here for you and I. That is his mission, sweet Holy Spirit, to help you and I to intercede so that you and I will make heaven. Let us pray in Jesus' name. 
Let us welcome to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome in our midst in the name of the Lord. We cannot do without you, Lord. We welcome you, Lord. Come and take your place. Come and take your place in our midst. We come and take your place. 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 Help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us, Holy Spirit. Help us, Holy Spirit. Help us, Holy Spirit. Help us, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Come and lead us. Come and sit for us. Come and show us. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, come and fill us with your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ. Come and have your way. We cannot do without you. We cannot do without you. We cannot do without you. Holy Come and lead us, Holy Spirit. Come and take control. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Spirit, do what you In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come and have your way. Come and have your way. Help us to understand the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Spirit, come and take your place. Holy Spirit, come and take control. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God in Jesus. And so right now, we are going to put on the whole armor of God. As the word of the Lord said, the word of the Lord says to you and now that we should put on the whole armor of God uh, to stand against the wise of the devil. That is that there is devil out there. If you don't believe there is devil out there, please read the word of the Lord. There is devil. You know, the enemy is so is so corny that many thing, many people they don't believe there is there with ah no be I don't believe it. <laughs> you better believe it. You better believe it. So let us put on the whole among God of protection for God to protect our mind. As they are firing arrow, the arrow go we go back to the center hundred phone time in Jesus. So let us let us cover ourselves with their home with the whole among God. Let us pray. Oh Father God in the name of Jesus. For the for the for 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 you know, I thank God for God. The word of the Lord says, the word of the Lord says that, that uh, they shall surely gather, but the gather is not of him. They shall fall and they, the one that gather against you and I, they shall fall and scatter for our sake. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Right now, we are going to ask for that God to arise and let them scatter. You know, when you hear, uh, we are saying that they shall fall and scatter, our enemy shall fall and scatter. Uh, please, you should not think we are, we are, we are, we are wrestling against our brothers, our sisters, or your neighbor, or your co-worker, your manager. We are, we, are, we are praying against them. No, we are praying against our enemy. You know our enemy, Satan, the demons, and the agent of, of Satan, they are our enemy. So that we, are, we, are praying, we are praying against them. Our enemy, the one, the enemy that hates God, that hates his children. The face Satan hate not because you and I we do something to him evil that makes him to hate or no, because he hates God, he hates God, and he hates all his children. He hates all his children. That is why it's what you and I. That is why we are praying, we are praying against the power powers against power principality powers rulers of darkness the spiritual weakness in the high places when he said that let the enemy all the plans of the enemy be scattered let them wherever they gather let them fall and scatter we are praying against the powers we are not praying against any woman being we are not praying against our sisters our brothers please when you are praying you have better open your mouth and pray really well in the name of there is enemy you, you you've got enemy i've got enemy. the day god brought us to this day the enemy have already 
started because he doesn't want us to live in the, the blessed life of Almighty God I've given to us, but we live it, we enjoy it. In the day, Father Lord Jesus Christ, we come and take us through in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now we are going to ask Father God to arise and let his enemy be scattered. Wherever the enemy of God gather, wherever we gather, wherever they gather, because our gathering right now, their gathering is to scatter. It's God so that Father God said he shall fall from his feet. And they shall fall for our sake. Whenever they are on the on the land or the sea, under the sea, in the first seven, the second, we don't care to know where they gather. But greater is he that is in those that he that is in the world. We are going to ask Father God, Father, arise in your power in the name of John, scatter them wherever they gather right now. In Jesus' name, let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of your Father God, arise and let us scatter, Father. Oh Lord Jesus, arise. Oh Lord Jesus, arise. Oh Lord Jesus, arise and let us scatter, Father, for the the enemy of my soul, the enemy. So wherever they gather right now, Father, wherever they gather on the air, on the land, on the sea, under the sea, for seven, the six, seven, seven, Father, let them fall and scatter. Oh Lord Jesus, let them fall and scatter. Let them fall and scatter. Let them fall and scatter. The enemy of this ministry, wherever they gather right now, because of our gathering, Father, Father, let them fall and scatter. 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 Let Hallelujah. We are going to praise Master Jesus. We are going to ask Father God, Father, arise, Almighty God, and destroy any power, any 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 power that want to distract or not to concentrate. The power of the 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 the, the, the power that causes uh, people when we are praying, your uh, is that time the enemy bringing thought that is not even really relevant to what we are doing right now. But you need to see from us. We are going to come against those power. Every demons of a, of a, as a mind, every demons of a, of a, of a, uh, what is it called? As a mind. Destruction. Distraction. We are going to come all those, uh, all those powers. We are going to burn them and cast them out of our life right now. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, Father, oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as soon as I pray, we come against every demon of destruction, all of fire, all of mist, all of fire, all of powers of darkness, all of fire, the high places, all of fire, all of gas. Father, scatter them, all of fire, scatter them by fire, scatter them by fire, scatter them by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus, as soon as I pray, anywhere they are gathering, planning evil, all of fire, bringing destruction in our midst. Let the fire of God locate them, let the fire of God locate them, scatter them, destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, on us to love, Father. Amen. We are going to commend the woman of God. Pray for the woman of God that God will use to be a blessing to the body of Christ today. We are going to pray for her, for more anointing, for more power and the spirit of bonus, for God to put uh, his word into her mouth, in the name of God, God to anoint her voice, anoint her lips, in the name of God, let us pray for her in Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, we Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we commit your daughter, Lord, for her into the hand of Lord Jesus, Father, we commit your daughter in your glory, Lord, for her into the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, Lord, Jesus, Christ, Lord, Jesus, 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 Lord, Lord, Jesus, 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 Lord, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Lord, Jesus, 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 Lord,
So Amen. we are going to say, start our program right now. We open this program in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome, you woman of God. May the Lord bless you, my evangelist. May the Lord bless you. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. The Lord is great. The Lord is faithful. He has done it again. He brought us again together for his glory, for his own purposes. We say thank you. We bless your name, Father. You are a mighty God. You are a faithful God. The God that loves his children. We glorify your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me say the word of prayer. Father God Almighty, Father, I want to thank you for this day again. I thank you because you are God. I thank you for your mighty power over our life. I thank you, Lord, for the love you have for your children. I thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for everything, oh Lord God Almighty, that you make us, oh Lord, to see, that you protect us against the thing you allow it to happen for us to learn. Father, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. For you are always say, Lord, everything will work for our good. Thank you, mighty Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit this message to you. We commit this time to you. We commit the program to you. We pray the O oh Lord, for it is not our program. It is your program. Glorify yourself, O oh Lord, therefore, in the life of your children, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And therefore, submit my tongue under your control. I pray, Lord God, that Almighty, oh May you speak as I open my mouth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. and refuse my flesh to speak. I ban my flesh to speak and let your spirit in me begin to speak to your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. We cover all this place with the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The internet, Lord, we cover with the blood of Jesus. And we declare over to you, Father, over to you whatever I want to do, over to you, take control, take over. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good evening, brethren. Brethren in online, we greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All of you, you are shining in the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank God for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we, are, we will be talking about the self-checking the spiritual self-checking. The spiritual self-checking. What is the spiritual self-checking? We can also put it like making our self-checking, our spiritual checkup. Making our spiritual checkup. Why you have to check up? You know, in the world, or right now, the physical way, when you stay, you go to your GP or to uh, uh, any competent uh, medical uh, uh, person to do your checkup, you know, I am here to check and see what is going on, what is happening to me. You check to know if you are in good health because I tell you my looks are and you are not. It's after the checkup that you will know that something is happening. That's the very way that we have to do our checkup. The checkup also sound like somebody that is to go for an interview, to go for some examination, and he has to check up to see if the question is that the, the question that they will ask, they will, he will be able to answer. We all used to do that when we are still in this in, in, in school. You always check up, you check back your books, you read it to see, you even back other syllables to compare your own knowledge to see if you have been, you know, you have been studying where, you have been standing where. So it is for the, uh, 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 for our spiritual life. We have to be doing our spiritual checkup. We have to be doing, checking ourselves to see if we are still standing. Check ourselves to see if what we are saying is what we live by or is what we are practicing. You see the Bible tell us in the book of Second Corinthians, Chapter 13, verse 15. 2 Corinthians 13, 15. He said, uh, sorry, 13, 5. Oh my God. He said, examine yourself, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know ye not your own self? How that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate. 
that examine yourself and see if you are still there. If you are still in faith, you might be talking faith, 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 and you are no longer there. You are be saying Jesus, 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 and you are no longer with Jesus. You have been proclaiming something that you yourself you are not you are not believing on, you are not standing on. But this scripture is telling us to check ourselves. To check ourselves. He said, You are on self, not other people. Because at times we're busy checking other people's life. This person uh, 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 skirt is short. That other person uh, 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 earring is big, is tiny. Oh, he's doing this, he's doing that. Oh, that person is this. And when you busy check people's self, you don't check your own self. But the Bible is telling us this morning, this we should check our own self, our own self. Examine yourself to see if you, you are still standing, not your next door neighbor, you first. If you don't stand, you will not know how another person is standing. But if you are only looking that person's life, you might fail. You might fail. The checkup is like, it's like the pillar of holiness. It's like the backbone of holiness. You cannot really stand in holiness if you don't do your regular, check up if you don't do your regular check up you cannot stand in holiness because the devil is very 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 crafty he know how to get to you and i he know what we used to do he know what we are still doing he know our weakness he know how to get us I remember we are the weak one. The devil is not weak. We are the one taking holidays. The devil is not taking no holidays. When he assigned his one person over one believer, he, he can assign more than 10 people over one believer, one, to just check you and see how they can grab you. And if you have not been checking yourself, you can just be easily pushed into your basket. You can just enter their basket with your two legs too. And you'll be there, you will not know. If you don't check up, you will not even know that something has happened to you. You will think that you are still standing. That's why the Bible is telling us in this uh, uh, very verse. He said, prove your own self. Prove your own self. Now, know ye not your own self, ah, that you don't, don't you know your own self? You know who you used to be, you know who you are now. When you check your before and now, how did you see yourself? Are you like before? Are you like that time? Because your life has three periods. The time you did not know Christ, the time you just enter Christ and now. Are you, the, are, you, are you still like before you know Christ? Are you still like the time you just know Christ? Because when you just know Christ, you have this zeal. You have this zeal to know him more. Do you still have that zeal? You have that zeal to, 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 to do his stuff, to do the thing that glorify God. The Holy Spirit will be right there, cautioning you, teaching you, rebuking you. Do you still hear the rebuke of the Holy Spirit? Do you check yourself? In this three line that we draw, where are you? Where can you find yourself? How can you describe yourself as a child of God? You went back to your first stage? Oh, you are now, you are now very far from the second stage that you enter Christ. You were so excited. You were so excited to know him more. Now you think you know him so much that you cannot know him again. Examine yourself. Examine yourself. He said, know that Jesus, examine yourself and know if you are still in Jesus Christ. If Jesus Christ is still in you, you must say you are in Jesus Christ. You are still in Jesus because you go to church. But is Jesus in you? You will say you know God, but does God know you? That's, the only, that, that's another thing. If I know you and you don't know me, it means we don't know ourselves. We don't know each other. 
So this is about knowing each other. You know God and he know you. You abide on him and he is in you. That is what we are saying here. He said, except ye be reprobate. Except ye be reprobate. Not for another person, no, my sister. Not for another person, my brother. But for your own. Are you still standing in that faith? That thing that convinced you that day for you to reject satanic work, for you to reject all your past, for you to reject all those things that used to please you, all those things that you used to enjoy doing, that thing that make you that day to reject it, to say, no, I refuse it. Do you still have that urge in you? Do you still feel that you have to work hard to continue to stand with this Jesus. Or you want to say now that uh, rub shoulder with Jesus and uh, uh, Jesus knows me anyway. I can get up at any time. I, I can call him anytime he will answer. Yes, he's what say when you call, he answer. There is different from answer you and from discussing with you. He can call you because you, you answer. But do you, you people have relationship? Do you have relationship? Do you feel like being down for him, waiting on him, asking him certain things you don't know? You do your checkup. You do your checkup. You cannot be a student and you don't check up and you go and write exam and pass. A, ch a child went to school will always study. Who always study their lesson. Who always try to even at time cover the book and ask himself some question and see if they can answer. If the answer is clear, if the answer is according to what they taught them to do. But the devil has played with us. The devil has made it such a way that we think that we don't really need to check up again, that we can rub shoulder with God. So we say, ah, my God will forgive me. Ah, my God will forgive me. Has he not, he died for me. What is this repentance every day, every day, every day? Jesus already died for you. Why must you stay without this? Why must you stay without that? He created all those things for you to, to, to be rejoiced and be glad in it. It doesn't matter if you are doing that thing, you are putting yourself into bondage. Why must you do? My sister, my brother, it matter. He's not going to change his word for anybody. He's not going to change his word for anybody. It doesn't matter if how you, how you relate with him. The best relation you can have with him is to obey his commandment. That is his best relation. He himself said, if you love me, obey my commandment. John 14, 15. If you love me, obey what? Just my commandment. You can call him every day. If you don't obey his commandment, you are still not with him. You can tattoo him. As I see some people that wrote, I, I, I know a lady, she wrote Jesus, Jesus in her breast, Jesus in her back, Jesus in her arms, Jesus everywhere. You can write it like that. If he is not in your heart, if you don't obey his commandment, he will still not be with you. Then it is not Jesus Christ of Nazareth you are talking about. That's why the, the, the Bible is advising you and I to check ourselves, to check and see if we have not shifted from the, from, from, from the truth, if we are still walking before him. Because that was one of his commandments in the book of Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. He asked God, the Lord asked Abraham, walk before me. Let's go there and read that scripture. Hallelujah. 
Genesis 17 verse 1 said, And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be that perfect. There is no way we'll perfect ourselves without walking before our Lord. There is no way we'll walk before our Lord without obeying all his commandments. Not some. He said, walk before me, not walk behind me. Walk before, so that I'll be looking at you. I'll be seeing the way you are putting your step. Walk before you so that my eye will be on you. I'll be watching over you to see if any enemy is coming. As my sister said earlier, that enemy is not your next door neighbor. It is not your boss. It is not your manager. The enemy we have one enemy, Satan and his court and his angel. Those are our enemy. So God said, walk before me so that I'll be watching over you. You cannot walk in his back. You walk before him, he watch over you. He's the one watching over you. You are not the one watching over him. When we are walking with our children, we put them in front so that we'll be seeing if they are walking straight, if they are not going through the roadside, if they are not going through the gutter side, if they are just going straight, that is what God said for God is saying for you and I. If you walk before me, you will be perfect. So the only way you and I will can perfect ourselves is just to walk before our Maker. The Bible tells us that He has a good plan for us. So you, you cannot walk before Him and He take you and enter wrong place. He cannot take you and enter wrong place. For he's too good to be wrong. He's too faithful to be wrong. He's too lovely to hate. He's too holy to stain himself with unclean things. He said, walk before me. Now, when you, 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 you look at the, our, our main scripture, he said, you yourself are to do the work. You are to check yourself. Your pastor cannot cross-check you. It doesn't matter which relationship you have with your pastor. Your GO cannot cross-check you. It doesn't matter because the appearance you might be giving into your GO is not what you are. It's not who you are. There are people that have, they, they can change at any time. I mean, they take the surface of, 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 of any environment they go. When they are in the worldly environment, they do worldliness more than the worldly people. When they, are, they want to talk, they talk rubbish more than those that knows nothing. So when they also come to church uh, around those that are holy, they are more holier than the holy. So they take the color of any environment they go. Are you that kind of a Christian? The Bible is telling us to check ourselves, to see if we stay in that faith. It's only one way to that faith. Obedience to the word of God, that's the one way. It's a one-way traffic. No going front, no going back. Just look forward for your faith to stand. If you are an effective child of God, you yourself, you will know. If, 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 if you are an effective child of God, if you are that person that lives for God, commit yourself to God. Say to yourself, no, I cannot leave my heart without reading a scripture or without raising my voice to God. As David said, early in the morning, Lord, will you hear my voice? Not early in the morning, Lord, will you see my phone? Early in the morning, will you hear my voice? Your voice can be in singing praise to him. Your voice can be to just worship him. Lord, you are just wonderful. You make this day again. You make it possible for me again to see this day. He hear your voice early in the morning before any other person. Praise the Lord. We check ourselves to see if we are effective. If you are stagnant, 
it, when you are stagnant, it means you just remain from that very level. As you enter Christ, you just know him there. You remain there. You don't want to know more. Some Christians will say, mm, 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 mm. these things of God, eh? when you want to know more, it confuses you. That's the plan of the enemy. That's the work of Satan. Any good student want to study and know more. They want to study and even know more, what, more than what their teacher know. Some teachers are teaching you, you go to university. Meanwhile, that teacher has never been in, in, in the university classroom. It's because you want to really know, 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 and know again. So it is for the well of, for the weight of God, for our spiritual life. As many times as you read, you open your Bible, you don't get tired of it. I don't understand this book of the Bible, self. You don't get tired of it. It is new every day. When you open, I don't know about you, but sometimes I will read some passage. If it's not because I have put color there, I will not know that I've read it before. But when I see color there or I draw with pen, I know that uh -huh, I've been in this place. But it sounds so fresh, so new. That's how, the, that's how our Lord make it. So that it will be, it will be renewing us every day. So we must not be stagnant. We must be renewing our system every day. We go to toilet every day. We eat every day. We drink water every day. So is our system. Our spiritual life has to be fed every day. But unfortunately, the devil will make us to feed our flesh more than the spirit. This flesh that one day will drop you down, will tell you that I'm not going with you. You will only go, you, you, only your spirit will go. But we are neglecting the spirit now. It's getting uh, 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 slimmer and the flesh is getting bigger. May we do something about it. Let us be honest to ourselves. One thing we can do our, to ourselves is to be honest to ourselves. When you are doing your checkup, I remember one time Sister Claire told me that mommy Jean, when you want to do your checkup, he said, pick up a pen and, and a piece of paper. Any sin that come in your mind, write them down. That way you don't write them down, you are not able to really pray against them. She said, write them down. As the Lord, the Holy Spirit is reminding you, write them down. But some people today, because uh, their pastor will always write on them. Oh, sister, this. Oh, evangelist, this. Oh, this, this. You are so wonderful. The message you preached was so wonderful. The thing you did, then, yes, it's wonderful, it's good. But do it and be checking your own self. Oh, you clean this church today so well. You clean this office so well. I like the way you fix my office today. Yes, it's good. But do it, clean office, and also clean your own life. You can be there cleaning the office. The rapture will, will come. You will still be there busy scrubbing the, 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 the office. You will remain because you only scrub the office. You did not scrub your own spiritual life. And the pastor you are scrubbing the, 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 the office for might not return again because he has rapture. He's gone. You are not going to blame him because he, 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 he has given you the lesson how to scrub yourself, but you choose to only scrub his office. You prefer to keep the relationship with him than to keep your relationship with God. Secure your relationship with God first. If your relationship with God is standing, then you will stand with anybody. It's only the devil you will not stand with. That's why the Bible will tell us, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all those other things will pursue you. They will follow. They will follow you. Let's ask ourselves some questions and answer it by ourselves. We have some great men in the Bible who ask themselves questions. Today we know about them because they question, they ask themselves some questions and they answer it. They ask themselves some questions. David asked God to search him. Ah, this David self. He says, search me. If there is any, any iniquity in me, Let us go to Psalms 139, verse 23 to 24. 
139, 23, 24. He says, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, I know my thoughts. He said, and see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Search me and see if there is any iniquity in me, any wickedness in me, anything that does not glorify you in me, Lord, search my heart. After searching my heart, Father, lead me. Lead me to the right way. Hallelujah. Our brother Job asked Father God to make him know to him his iniquity and sin. Job chapter 13, 23. Make me to know my iniquity and sin, O oh Lord. Today we find it very difficult to ask God like that. Twenty-three, I read. He said, "How many are my iniquity and sin?" This was Job asking God. Make me to know my transgression and my sin. If he was not searching himself, is he going to ask God this question? And these are the people who know them, like people who stood for God, but they still check themselves. So there is no way a believer will stay without checking themselves and continue to be in go with God. We check ourselves. We have to check ourselves daily. It doesn't matter. There is not overdose in checking yourself. You can check minute by minute. Yes. But the devil makes us to think it's, it's too much. Ah, you have been checking yourself too much. What is this now? Are you the only sinner in this world? Please behave like if you are one. If you are the only one who remain. Don't try to justify yourself before your maker. Don't try to just, justify yourself. Amen. Look at the prodigal son in the book of Luke 15. 17, 17 to 20. If he did not check himself, he wouldn't have gone back, went back to his father. He sat down, he made of cross examination. And he said to himself, look at me, I used to be good. Eh? In, our, in our, uh, 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 our house, my father's house, even the least slave have something to eat. Look at me here eating the same food with pigs. No. I have to do something. Let me go back and recognize my mistake to my father. With that cross-checking examination, you cannot do that. With that, your spiritual checkup, you cannot do that. You sit down and take the stock of your body. When you are a business person, you sit down and take the stock of your business to see if that business is growing or is going down. How come the devil won't let us check our own self to see if our faith is going down or is going up? Praise the Lord. Some of our problems are not from the devil. Some, oh, it's not all our problem that came from the devil. Sometimes we call this devil and he's just laughing where he is. He will just be, keep on fooling yourself. I'm waiting for you. Don't call the God you know. Keep on calling my name. He would just be laughing at us. So our problem are just carelessness. Let us see 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 28 to 29. 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians 11, 28 to 29. I read. 28, he said, but let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. 29, for he that eateth and drinketh on unworth, worthiness, eateth and drinketh uh, uh, damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body.
not discerning the Lord body. It, 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 you eat and drink damnation when you don't check yourself, when you don't know what the kind of thing you are putting in. When they invite you for a party, you take time to check the clothes you are wearing, to check the shoe you put in with. Now the Lord is inviting us for the great supper. We have to check ourselves properly. It will be shameful if they invite you for a party just because of the clothes you are wearing that they, they say you will not enter. Look at the shame somebody will go back to in their house with. Meanwhile, you could just take you maybe just to spend extra minute to just check and look something better and put on. That is the very thing we have to do here. Then uh, uh, First Corinthians chapter eleven thirty. First Corinthians chapter eleven thirty said, "For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For this cause." Because they don't check them, themselves, because they don't check what they eat, they eat damnation, it brings sickness, it brings a lot of things. That's why I am saying some of our problems are just carelessness problems. They are not from the devil. Let us follow the good example of those believers that was before, the old time Christian. Let us follow the old time Christian. Let us be in the old time religion. Walking before God. Examine our own self. Asking God to cross check us. To see where we cannot see. To see where we cannot see. May God do it for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus mighty name we pray. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. Adoration to the King. He reigns. Adoration to the King. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. Adoration to the King, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. Hallelujah. Let us begin to give him glory. Let us begin to glorify his holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, we thank you. Father, we bless your holy name. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we lift your name higher. Father, we say you are God. Father, we say you are mighty. Father, we say you are a mighty God. Father, we say you are a faithful God, my God and my King. Jehovah King of glory, Lord God Almighty, Father, you are so mighty, you are so sacred. Oh, Father, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you adoration, we give you glory, we give you glory, we give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory, oh Lord, we give you glory, oh mighty God, we give you glory, oh mighty God, we give you glory, oh Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are going to continue to pray that Lord God Almighty flow over my life, cover my head to toes with your power in Jesus' name. Father, flow over my life, cover my head to toes with your power. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, flow over my life, O Lord. Flow over me, Father. Cover my head to toes, O Father. With your power, O Mighty Father. Flow, Lord God Almighty. Flow over, O Father. Flow over my life. Flow over my life. Flow over my life. Flow over my life. Father, cover my life, O Lord. Cover my head to toes. 
take my head from you. Cover my head to kill you with your mighty power. Cover my head to kill you with your mighty power. Cover my head to kill you with your mighty power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cover my head to kill you with your mighty power, O Lord. Cover my head to kill you with your mighty power. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My head to kill you, O Lord. My head to kill you with your power. Cover my head to kill you with your power. Cover my head to kill you with your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover my head to kill you, Father. With your power in the name of Jesus Christ. I give you praise, O Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We are still praying. We are still praying. Father, bring to my memory the legal ground or the open door that make me, that make men to recognize my sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, bring to my memory the legal ground or the open door that make me to recognize my sin in the mighty name of Jesus Christ prayers. My Father and my God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, point out to me my legal ground. Point, point out to me my legal ground, Lord. Bring to me, Father, my legal ground. Bring to me, Lord, my legal ground. Bring to me my legal ground in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring to me, O Father God Almighty, my legal ground in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My Lord and my King. Father, bring to me my, my legal ground. Bring show me, O Lord, my open door. Show me where I have opened. Oh Lord, show me where I have opened, oh Father, Lord God Almighty, for the enemy to pass. Show me, oh Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, show me my open door. Show me my open doors, oh Lord. Show me the legal ground I have given the devil, Father, to enter me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, show me the underground, the legal ground. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I release myself from any form of carelessness in the name of Jesus. I release myself from any form of carelessness, physical carelessness, spiritual carelessness, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release myself, I release myself from any form of carelessness. I release myself, Lord, from any form of carelessness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release myself, O King of Lord, from any form of carelessness. Any form of carelessness, Lord, I release myself from it. I release myself from it. I release myself from it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release myself in the mighty name of Jesus. I release myself from any form of carelessness. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, King of Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go back to Psalms 139, verse 24. Psalms 139, verse 24. He said, And see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. We are going to pray. Oh Lord, search and watch away from me any wicked way by the blood of Jesus Christ. Search and watch away from me any wicked way by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, search, O oh Lord. Search and watch, O oh Lord, and watch away from me, O oh Father, any wicked way by the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Search and watch over me, Lord. Search and watch over me, Father. Search and watch over me, O oh Father. Oh Lord, Oh Lord, if there is any wicked way, oh Lord, if there is any wicked way in me, Father, set and work away, set and watch away, set and watch away, set and watch away, in the name of Jesus Christ, set and watch away, oh Lord, set and watch away, Father, if there is any wicked way, my Father, my God, set and watch away, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, set and watch away, oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let every satanic attack against my self checking be converted to victory in the name of Jesus. Let every satanic attack against my self my self checking be converted into victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prayers, Father God, in the name of Jesus, let every satanic attack against my self checking, any satanic attack against my self checking, my Father, my Maker, let it be converted to victory. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, any, any. 
the satanic attack I command every evil plantation in my life, in my family, to come out in the name of Jesus. Any evil plantation, any of those things the enemy has planted in your life, and some of those things that he planned and he make you to feel that you are right to do it. You might be right in the eyes of people, but mm -hmm. are you right in the eyes of the Lord? Let us go and ask God the Father, any of thing that the enemy has planned, any evil plantation of me, Lord of Ruthie, prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every evil plantation, every evil plantation in my life, every evil plantation in my family, every evil plantation of Father in my children's life, every evil plantation in my grandchildren's life, Father, Lord, God of let it come out. 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 Let it I command Every stranger in my body making me to be spiritually weak. Come out now from your hiding place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prayers. My father, in my the God, in the name of Jesus. Every stranger in my body. Every stranger in my body. Every stranger in my body. Making me to be weak. Every stranger in my body. Making me to be spiritually weak. Making me to be spiritually weak. Every stranger in my body. Making me to be spiritually weak. As I begin to pray. Come out from your hiding place. In the name of Jesus. Come out from the name of Jesus. Come out from the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out from the name of Jesus. Come out from the name of I cough out and vomit any food from the table of my enemy to make me weak physically and spiritually in Jesus' name. Prayers. My father and my God in the name of Jesus. I come out and vomit out any food that I have eaten from the table of my enemy. Lord God Almighty, I vomit it. I vomit it over. I cough it out. 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 I vomit it out in the mighty name of Jesus. I vomit any food that I have eaten from the table of my enemy. Anything I have eaten in my dream, that I vomit it. I vomit it. I vomit it in the mighty name of Jesus. I vomit it. Amen. Let all negative material circulating in my bloodstream, making me to be spiritually and physical, physically slow, be evacuated in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayers. Father God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus every negative material, every negative 
negative material, anything negative material, circulating from my blood, anything negative material, circulating from my blood, anything negative material, circulating from my blood, my blood and my feet, my children, let them be evacuated, anything negative material, circulating from my blood, let it be to the spirit of God, 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 destroying the name of Jesus amen Holy Ghost fire burn from the top of my head to the sole of my feet everything the enemy is hiding to bring out in in the minute to bring out in the last minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, burn from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. Everything the enemy is hiding to bring it out in the last minute. Oh, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, anything the enemy is hiding, anything that the enemy is hiding, anything the enemy is hiding in my body, bring it out at the last minute. My Lord and my King, in the name of Jesus, bring them out, 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 bring them Amen. Holy Ghost fire. Touch my life in Jesus' name, prayers. Amen. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost my fire. Life in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost power, bring my life. Holy Ghost power, touch my life. Holy Ghost fire, touch my life. Holy Ghost power, touch my life. Holy Ghost fire, 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 touch my life. Post my life, post my life, post my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, post my life, post my life, post my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, post my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh Lord, remove spiritual cataract in my eyes. In the name of Jesus. Remove spiritual cataract in my eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, pray. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire, remove spiritual cataract in my eyes. Remove spiritual cataract in my eyes. Remove spiritual cataract in my eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost power, Holy Ghost fire, remove spiritual remove spiritual cataract in my eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, remove spiritual cataract in my eyes. in the mighty name of Jesus, remove any spiritual cataract in my eyes. 
Let it be the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Let it be the name of Jesus The Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. We are going to pray, Father. Give me the spirit of wisdom. Amen. Give me the spirit of wisdom. Oh Lord, give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation. In you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. My Father, Father my Jesus God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, give me the spirit of wisdom. Give me the spirit of wisdom, O oh Lord God. Give me the spirit of wisdom, O oh Father. Give me the spirit of wisdom, O oh Father, and the knowledge of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah King of God, give me the spirit of wisdom. Give me the spirit of wisdom, O oh Lord. Give me the spirit of wisdom, O oh Lord, and the knowledge and understanding of you, O oh Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is the spirit of wisdom. Fill me, Lord, with the spirit of wisdom. Fill me, Lord, with the spirit of wisdom. Fill me, Lord, with the spirit of wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Father, fill me with the spirit of wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give me the spirit of wisdom and understanding. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. We are, we are still going to pray. We are going to pray to God. We are going to say, Father, let your understanding, let your wisdom and your understanding fill my life. Fill my life to the brim in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your wisdom and understanding fill my life to the brim in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God Almighty, let your wisdom and understanding fill my life. 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 Fill my Let your wisdom and understanding fill my life, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father, Thank you, my Father, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name of Jesus Christ of Amen. Psalm Psalm twenty five fourteen said, "The secret of the Lord is with them that fear Him, and He will show them." His covenant. We are going to pray, Father. Show me your covenant, for I fear you. In the name of Jesus Christ, show me your covenant, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray, my Father and my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord God Almighty, show me your covenant, O Lord. Show me, O Father, your covenant, Almighty God. Show me your covenant, O King of Glory. Lord, show me your covenant. Show me your covenant, O Jehovah King of Glory. Father, Lord, show me your covenant. Lord, show me your covenant. Father, show me your covenant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Show me your covenant, O Lord. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Father God, Father, show me your covenant, O Lord. Show me your covenant, O Father. Lord, show me your covenant. Father, show me your covenant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your covenant, O Lord God Almighty. Show me your covenant, O Father. Show me your coven
that will make me to do all your words in the name of Jesus. Reveal to me the sacred thing that will make me, Lord, to, to do all your words in your words in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prayers. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God Almighty, reveal to me, Lord. Reveal to me those sacred things. Reveal to me those sacred things that will make me to do all your words. Not sacred things that will make me to walk in your words. That will make me to do the words of your of, of your of this Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, reveal to me, Lord. Reveal to me, mighty Redeemer. Reveal to me, O Lord God Almighty. Reveal to me, O Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, reveal to me, O Lord God Almighty. Reveal to me, O King of Glory, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus, reveal to me, O Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are going now to pray for all the minister of God. We are going to pray. All satanic arresting agent in the life of the ministry ministers of God release us now in the name of Jesus Christ prayers release them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ prayers father God in the name of Jesus all satanic satanic agent arresting and, and all satanic arresting agent in the life of the ministers of God as we begin to pray now release them 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 in the name of Jesus release them in the mighty name of Jesus release them in the Amen. Anything representing any minister or child of God in the demonic world be destroyed by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prayers. Father God, in the name of Jesus, anything representing any minister, anything representing any child of God in the demonic world, in the demonic world, in the satanic world, let it be destroyed. 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 Let it be destroyed by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be destroyed by the fire of God. Let it be destroyed by the fire of God. Let it be destroyed by the fire of God. Let it be destroyed by the fire of God. Let it be destroyed by the fire of God. Let it be destroyed by the fire of God. Amen. Holy Spirit, open the eyes of your servants and make the invisible visible in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, open the eyes of your servants and make the invisible visible in the mighty name Holy Spirit, open the eyes of your servants. Make all of the eyes of your to become visible in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, open the eyes of your servants. Open the eyes of your servants to make all of the eyes of your servants visible in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, open the eyes of your servants. Open the eyes of your servants to make all of the eyes of your servants visible in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, open the eyes of your servants. Open the eyes of your servants to make all of the eyes of your servants visible in the mighty name of Jesus. Open the eyes of your servants. 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 Make the invisible visible in the name of Jesus. Father, make the invisible visible in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open the eyes of your servant, O Lord. Open the eyes of your servant, O Father. Open the eyes of your servant and make the invisible visible. Father, make the invisible visible in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, liberate our spirit to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. 
liberate our spirit to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, liberate our spirit to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Liberate our spirit, oh Lord, to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Liberate our spirit to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Liberate our spirit, oh Lord, to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Liberate our spirit to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let our spirit follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Let our spirit follow the leading of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Matthew 24, 45. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? And wise servant, whom his Lord has made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. Father, make us that faithful and wise servant in your kingdom, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, make us that faithful. Make us, Father, that faithful and wise servant. Oh, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Make us that faithful and wise servant, oh, Lord. Make us that faithful and wise servant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make us that faithful and wise servant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make us, Father, make us that faithful and wise servant. Amen. A wife, a, a, a wise servant is that one who check himself anytime to see if he's still working with his master. Hallelujah. Matthew 24, 49 to 50. I read. He said, and shall begin to smile, to smite his fellow servant and do eat and drink with the drunkard. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he look not for him and in an hour that he is not aware god forbid we are going to pray that father lord almighty anything in me that will make me to be evil servant Oh Lord, separate me from that thing now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, prayers. My oh, Father, my God, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, that make me not God, that will make me Father, not to be a white servant. Anything in me that will make me Father, to be evil servant, oh Lord God Almighty, separate me from that thing right now. Separate me from that thing right now. Separate me from that thing right now, Lord. Separate me from that thing right now, oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, separate me from that thing. Father, separate me from that thing. Let us separate me from that thing. In the mighty name of Jesus, separate me from that thing, O Lord. Separate me from that thing, O King of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, anything that will make me, anything that will make me want to be a wise servant, wise servant, anything that will make me to be a careless servant. Father, separate me from such things. Separate me, Lord. Separate me from that thing. Separate me, O Lord God Almighty. Separate me, O Lord Father. Separate me. Separate me in the name of Jesus Christ. Separate me from it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Separate me from it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Matthew 24, 13 said, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Eh? He that shall be endured to the end, the same shall be saved. We are going to ask God, Father, Give us the grace to endure, to endure to the end. No matter what it takes, your grace, Father, is sufficient for us to, to go to the end. Prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, give us the grace. Give us the grace, O Lord. Give us the grace to endure to the end. Give us the grace to endure to the end, O Father. Give us the grace to endure to the end in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us the grace to endure to the end. Give us the grace to 
endure to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, give us the grace, O oh Lord God Almighty, the grace to endure to the end. Give us that grace. Give us that grace. Give us that grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, give us that grace, O oh Lord. The grace to endure to the end. The grace to endure to the end. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we need that grace. Lord God, I need that grace. I need that grace to endure to the end. I need that grace to endure to the end. I need that grace to endure to the end. I need that grace to endure to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. That's still going to pray that, Father, whatever make minister of God to fall will not destroy us in the name of Jesus. Whatever make the minister of God to fall is not going to make us to fall. It will not destroy us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, prayers. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever make the minister of God to fall, Father, will not make us to fall. Father, in the name of Jesus, the enemy that is called the servant of God, Father, will not locate the enemy. Will not locate us anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whatever make the minister of God to fall, whatever make the minister of God to fall, Father, will not locate us. Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9 said, The Lord is not slack concerning his promises. As some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us words, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. We are going to pray that the Lord should bring any of his minister that has fallen back to repentance to him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. My Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Oh Lord God Almighty, any of you are 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 in jesus mighty name we pray amen james chapter 4 verse 8 said draw near to god and he will draw near to you cleanse your hand ye sinner and purify your head ye double-minded we are going to pray that father let the blood of Jesus begin to clean your servants right now from the crown of their head to the sole of our feet, to the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, prayer. My Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus begin to clean us. Let the blood of Jesus begin to clean us. Let the blood of Jesus begin to clean us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the blood of Jesus begin to clean us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anything that makes our hands to the loss of the anything that stains our hands, anything that makes our 
Romans fifteen thirteen said, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. May the God of our Lord fill us. Fill us with peace. Fill us with peace. Even as we believe in him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, fill us, O Lord. Father, fill us, O Father. Lord, may you fill us. May you fill us, O Lord God Almighty. May you fill us, O Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. May you fill us, O Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fill us, O Lord God Almighty. Fill us, O Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, you fill us. May you fill us in the name of Jesus Christ. May you feel us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May you feel us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Feel us, O King of God. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Father, God of mighty God of God, feel us. You are the mighty God. You are the faithful God. Feel us, O Lord. Feel us, O Father. Feel us, O mighty Christ. Lord, feel us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. I say no power. I say no power. I say nobody. I say nobody who can battle with the Lord. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody who can battle with the Lord. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody who can battle with the Lord. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 25 to 26. He said, but thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save their children. 26. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine, as with sweet wine, wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am the Savior and the Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. You are going to pray. Lord, Father, in any way that we have been kept in captivity, in any way that we have been kept in bondage. Father, in any way our children have been kept in bondage, Lord, release them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. My Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, in any way that Father and my children have been kept in bondage, in any way they have been kept in bondage, my Lord and my King, deliver them, O Lord. Deliver them, O Father. Deliver them, O Lord. Deliver them, O Lord. Deliver them, O Lord. Deliver them, O Lord. Deliver all the Lord, deliver what you don't know. Any people, O Lord, we have been kept in captivity, O Lord. 
In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, deliver them, O Lord. Deliver them, O mighty Redeemer. Father, deliver them. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Lord, Lord, in any way, the enemy want to use me as a prey. Deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ. This prayer, we pray it for our children. We pray it for our brothers in the name of Jesus. Brother and sister in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in any way, the enemy want to use me. The, in any way, the enemy want to use my children. In any way, the enemy want to use my brother and sister as a prey. Father, deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. My Father and my God in the name of Jesus. In any way, the enemy want to use me as a prey. In any way, the enemy want to use my children as a prey. In any way the enemy want to use, oh Lord God Almighty, my grandchildren as a prey. In any way the enemy want to use my brothers and sisters as a prey. Father, deliver us. Lord God, deliver us. Father, deliver us. Lord God, deliver us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, deliver us, oh Lord. Deliver us, oh mighty Redeemer. Deliver us, oh faithful God. Deliver us, oh Lord God Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, deliver us, oh Lord God Almighty. Lord, deliver us. Father, set us free. Set us free, O Lord. Set us free, O Father. Set us free, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, may you set us free. Lord God, may you set us free. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lord God Almighty, contend with them that contended with us. Amen. Contend with them that contended with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayers. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, contend with them that contended with us. Anything contending with my spiritual life. Anything contending with my children's life. Anything contending with their job. Anything contending, oh Lord God Almighty, with their career. Their Anything contending with their spiritual life. Father, Lord, contend with such things. Contend with such things. Contend with such things. Contend with such things. Thing. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Content with such thing, O Lord. Content with such thing, Father. Lord, content with such thing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything contending with, with me. Anything contending with my children. Father, anything contending with my son. Anything contending with them as spiritual life. Father, content with such thing. Deal with something, such thing, O Lord. Deal with such thing, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord God, Feed my oppressor with their own blood in the name of Jesus. Amen. Feed my oppressor with their own blood. Let them eat what they want to take from me. Let them eat themselves in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, feed my oppressor. Feed my oppressor with their own blood, O Lord. Feed my oppressor with their own blood, O Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, feed my oppressor with their own blood. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Feed my oppressor, O Lord. Their own blood. Lord God Almighty, feed my oppressor with their own blood. Fit our pressure with their own blood, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, fit our pressure with their own blood. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Fit our pressure, O Lord. Fit them with their own blood. Fit our pressure with their own blood, O Father. Fit them 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 with their own blood, O Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We are going to pray and lose myself from any form of bondage. I lose myself, I lose my children from any form of bondage. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, I lose myself, I lose myself from any form of bondage. In the name of Jesus, I lose myself from any form of bondage. I lose myself from any form of bondage. I lose myself from any form of bondage. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray that. The Bible says when the, the, the man sleeps, the enemy comes and so tell. We are going to pray. As we are going to leave this song, as we are, we are going to sleep, any power, any demon in assignment to come and so evil tears as we are sleeping in our dream. Father, let the thunder fire of God locate them and roast them into fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Roast them into ashes in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any, evil, any demon in assignment, they come in our dream to try to sort it, to try to pollute us. Father, this let them let the thunder fire of God look at them all over us, scatter them all, destroy them all. Father, burn them into ashes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the thunder fire of God all over consume them all over us, burn them into ashes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every demon in assignment, every agent of darkness that you want to come as a spiritual husband, that you want to come and which is a wizard to come and bring food and drink in the dream. Father, let the fire of God locate them, consume them in the name of Jesus. They will not be able to perform their evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They is appointed, scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any agent of darkness in assignment to come and pollute us as we sleep. Father, disappoint them all over. Father, protect us all over. Cover us all over the blood of Jesus. That the enemy will not be able to, Father, to perform their evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, protect us all over with your divine protection. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Lord. This appointed the plan of the enemy against us, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, disappointed, destroy every plan of the enemy, every assignment of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Lord. Father, Lord Jesus, Father, we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We cover ourselves, oh Lord, with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Over to you, my fish. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the Lord. We are going to praise Master Jesus. We are going to pray for ourselves. We are going to ask for our God, Father. All this prayer that we pray right now, any power that is not happy, that wants to come at, at, uh, at um, attack us, let thunder from above arise and consume those powers in Jesus. Let us pray. Father, the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we come that you are not happy because of this prayer. Oh Lord Jesus, Father, that you want to attack us, Lord Father, let the thunder fire of God, Lord let them let the fire of God turn them around. In the mighty name of Jesus, because of every power that you want to attack us in our Father, destroy those powers in the mighty name of Jesus, because of us. Destroy those powers in the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy those powers in the mighty name of Jesus, because of us. Any power that you want to attack us, oh Lord Jesus, because of us. Father, destroy those powers in the mighty name of Jesus, because of us. I destroy those powers in the mighty name of Jesus, because of us. Father, destroy every power that you want to fight us, fight our children, fight our family, because of this prayer, oh Lord, for a disappointment, oh Lord, for in the mighty name of Jesus, because of us. Destroy those powers in the name of Jesus, because of us. Amen. We are going to pray for the woman of God, my evangelist Jan. We are going to pray for her, for the anointing that went, for the virtue that went up, for God to replenish unto her. For as God used her to be a blessing to us, for God to bless her in return in nature, for God to empower her more and more, more of anointing, more of a grace, or his grace upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray for her in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we commit yourself and to offer her to be a blessing for us, Lord Jesus. Father, bless her all over in return, Lord Father, let the virtue that left her all over. Father, replenish her to her all of her fresh anointing all of the to fall upon her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, bless her and protect her all of her let your divine protection all of her to protect her all of her. Protect your daughter all of her from every evil in the mighty name of Jesus. Protect her all of her from every evil in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we cover her all of her with the blood of Jesus. No we put in fashion against her shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord Jesus, for the new power that you want to attack all of Father, let the blood of Jesus Christ on us to love for us stand in the name of Jesus Christ on us to destroy and scatter the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ on us. Father, we thank you, Lord, for our protector, Lord, for our divine protection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ on us. Father, remember children, remember family in the name of Jesus Christ on us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Let us begin to thank God and cover the prayer point to the precious blood of Jesus. Amen.
Every Father, we thank you, King of Glory. We thank you, Shadow of Glory. We thank you, Yom that I We thank you, the beginning of the end. We thank you, everlasting Father. We thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the adoration. We give you the honor. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for answering our prayer. We glorify your holy name, Lord Father. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted, Lord Father, for your goodness and mercy upon our life. We thank you, King of Glory, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for his grace. We thank God for his for, for he delivering us from the hands of the evil ones. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. So Amen. our program has come to an end, end, end right now. We bless the name of the Lord. Please, you can join us on Sunday service. We have our Sunday service is 4.30 long and 4.30 p.m. London time. Please, if you have time to join us, please join us. We, you will be blessed. We are blessed. We'll be so happy to receive, to welcome you in our midst in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We like us this hour, this moment right now. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Hallelujah. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, praise the Lord, bless now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please, please. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom.